So there you have it. There's a close shot. Yeah. And um, I didn't I didn't show this out of embarrassment, but I I did show this because for some reason uh, this young man touched my heart uh, some months ago. Uh, his name is he's a minister. His name is Corey Lewis, and he was a minister at the Church of God by Faith in Fort Lauderdale, and. He ended up in a very unfortunate situation. He's married. He has six kids. But he ended up in a very, very unfortunate relationship with a 15-year-old daughter, which our God's daughter, which he was mentoring. And unfortunately, according to the Sun Sentinel, um, he got involved with this young lady that was 15 years old. Intercourse took place. She got pregnant. He told her to abort the baby. She decided, I am not going to abort the child. She had a little boy, his name is Corey Jr. And with that being said, he just went to trial. Now the state of Florida is the hardest state when it comes to pedophiles and elderly. If you touch a child in the state of Florida, you will almost face at least 10 to 30 years. My son got caught up when he was 14. The young lady was 12, my son is 24, and my son is still fighting this thing. My son is labeled a pedophile for the next 20 years. But all I can say is that the favor of God had to be on this young man. This young man got two years house arrest and eight years probation. The young lady pleaded with them not to send him to prison because it would be better if he stayed out to take care of his children. Nonetheless, he has a wife, and he has a wife of 11 years. Oh my goodness. They have children from the age 2 to 9 years old. And I just want to say, Corey, God has given you an opportunity. Make the best of it. Allow this to become ministry for you. Go and minister to these leaders yes. that are in these ungodly relationships. That, I mean, because this happened in your house, under your roof, with your wife. Now, this is the opportunity. I'm not judging you here. I have compassion for you, and I'm asking you to please allow this to become a great ministry for you. Go minister to those leaders that you know that are in these ungodly relationships so that this doesn't happen to another man of God. My question to you out there, viewers, hearing this situation, and we've come from time and time again where we see televangelists, ministers, pastors, uh, people who are in leadership in ministry, we find that constantly they're getting, um, I want to say, attacked or constantly a victim of such acts as these. And we want your opinion out there, viewers. You know, what is your opinion on basically... Uh, leadership and ministry, roles being played in ministry, and ministers and so forth out there who are having affairs or in adulterous relationships or involved in some type of promiscuous relationship with a minor and so forth wow. and so forth. We want to get your opinion on that. So yes. Email us. Yes. Or also please. call us at 954-934-5914 uh, because we're interested and want to know what the public has to say about this. Yes, because it's very important. I know everybody has an opinion, and I know God is a forgiving God. And yeah. I see the grace of God all over yes. this. Yes. Because this is a, t oh, I felt the Spirit of God right there. Yeah. This is a tough state with pedophiles. And I know several people that are in, getting ready to go to court right now. One teacher, all he, he touched a girl, which was enough. And he's getting ready. He's already almost lost his entire career, but he's on his way to trial for this. So just send us an email at angie33313 at yahoo.com or lucretia hines at yahoo.com or call me at 954-934-5914 or call um, Prophetess Lucretia Hines Riles at 954-708-5001. Um, so please, just let us know what you think about it. These are some hot topics, some things we want to talk about. And uh, we just thank you uh, for giving us that call. Please, it doesn't matter how you feel about it. We want your feedback. Your feedback is important because these are some important issues 
that are taking place inside the church. This isn't happening on the outside of the church. This is happening in the church, and the church is so quick to cover it up. We yeah. need to deal with this yeah. stuff. Yes, yeah. and constantly, time and time over again, um, we're dealing with this. And then we're also dealing with homosexuals. But stay tuned. After these messages, we'll be right back to discuss more hot topics. That's right, and with the weather.